This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. This is not a whodunit. We know who did it. But at the end of the day, you are beholden to your judgment. The jury has reached a verdict in the murder trial of Jeremiah Bean, finding him guilty of all 12 counts, including five for first-degree murder. Continuing coverage of the trial tops Channel 2 News at 5. Good evening, everyone. I'm Wendy DeMonte. Kristen Remington is off tonight. Thank you for joining us. Well, as you now know, Bean is guilty of murdering four senior citizens in Fernley and another man near Mustang more than two years ago. Paul Nelson has been following the case since the beginning and was in the courtroom today when the verdict was read. Paul, what is the latest? Well, Wendy, no real big surprises down here. After all, as you know, Jeremiah Bean already admitted to the murders. And after nearly two weeks of testimony, it took less than two hours for a jury to find him guilty on all charges. We, the jury, in the above entitled matter, find the defendant, Jeremiah Diaz Bean, guilty of count one, first degree murder. After a quick deliberation, there's finally a verdict in the Jeremiah Bean murder trial. Guilty. Jeremiah Diaz Bean decided that money, partying, and stealing were more important than anything else. The biggest question during closing arguments was whether Bean should be convicted of first or second degree murder of Bob and Dottie Pape, Eliezer Graham, Lester Lieber, and Angie Duff. The victims were murdered Mother's Day weekend of 2013. They were volunteers, veterans, housewife, mother, father, brother, mentor. And all that was taken away in cold blood for no good reason by this defendant. If you guys are arguing about whether it's first or second degree, then y'all must come to the decision that it's second degree. Witnesses say Bean was not under the influence of drugs when he killed his victims. But his attorney argued second degree murder would be more fitting based on the defendant's intelligence level. There's no deliberation here. There's no weighing of the consequences. We have an individual who, by all accounts, is not very bright. The district attorney referred to Jeremiah Bean as a cold-blooded killer, telling his friends about the first two murders the same day they happened. What is the defendant's actions from there? Laughing that same day with his friends about what he'd done. While the defense argued that Bean was part of a pack of jackals and that more people were involved, prosecutors say all of the physical evidence pointed at only Bean, including ballistics, DNA, and fingerprints. And what the evidence has shown is that Jeremiah Bean is not part of a pack of jackals. He's not the center of a pack of jackals. Rather, Jeremiah Bean is a lone wolf. Now, this trial is not completely over. The penalty phase will begin a week from today, next Tuesday. Now, since Bean was convicted of first-degree murder, he could face the death penalty. Covering Crime Beat live in Urington, Paul Nelson, Channel 2 News. Mm.